So it turns out that Smokey Satanist is actually a convicted felon. Okay, not just me trying to be slanderous or trying to make things up against them. Uh, see it for yourself. Let me, let me just turn to verse of scripture first, just to, to start this thing off, because it won't be proper without a verse of scripture. Luke chapter 12, verse 2. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Verse 3. Therefore whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear in closet shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. Okay, Luke chapter 8 and verse 17. For, there, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. And of course, Numbers, Numbers chapter 20, I think it's verse 32, verse 23. Here it is. Number 32, 23. But if you will not, if you will not do so, behold, you have sinned against the Lord and be sure your sin will find you out. Okay. When you have unrepentant sin, you're trying to hide and cover up. God's going to blow it a little. God will basically blow the lid off that thing. He'll expose it to everybody. And right here, <clears throat> sorry about that. Right here, bit of a sore throat. Right here, we have a uh, smoky Satanist who apparently is. Uh, you have your North Carolina sex offender and public de uh, protection registry, North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation. This guy right here is Smoky Saint, or as I call him Smoky Satanist, uh, Max. Herbal is what his name is, or he calls himself Joshua Nathan. Either one, Max Herbal, Joshua Nathan. Uh, this guy is Smoky Saint. Now we can understand now why he doesn't show his face in his live streams because well he's got but he got some serious sin he's got to hide. But I guess what God blew, blew basically blew the lid off the sin he was trying to hide. That's simple because you can't hide your sin forever. God will, will find it and expose it if you don't confess and repent. Of course, Smoky Satanist is a lost, uh, you know, cussing, profanity laced, you know. Uh, devil basically uh, and you know but thing is, is that if he was saved which obviously he's not uh, trying to cover up sin is never a good thing even if you're lost and you profess to be saved trying to cover up sin uh, it's going to get exposed that simple God will, will, blow, will basically blow the cover off that thing but here we have a race white sex male uh, height 6 foot 3 inches close to my height I'm nearly 6 foot 5 inches uh, he's close to my height uh, date of birth October 15th 1982 so the guy is 39 years old, turning 40 in, a, in a, this year, actually. Uh, but, but get a load of this. So, you know, you say, well, well, what's the significance about that? Well, just check out the date of when he was uh, convicted and had to register. Okay, uh, check this out. This is going to be a, a bit of a shock for you. Registration date, uh, no, uh, March 30th, 2022. The date I'm recording this is April 3rd, 2022. Less than a week ago. Uh, offense date... Uh, June 1st, 2004, conviction date, March, or March 30th, 2022. So he was convicted just less than a week ago of this offense he did back in 2004. Probation, 36 months. Uh, description, indecent liberty minor. Victim's age, 13. Offender's age, 21. Country state, uh, Mecklenburg, North Carolina. Confinement, none. So he's on probation, basically. Um, he had to register as a sex offender. Smoky Saint did. Now, let, let, let's just put some things together here. So first of all, we see that when someone rebukes him, he gets all mad and uses profanity. And by the way, too, I, this guy is not born again. I don't believe for one second this, this guy is born again. He's no saint at all for Jesus Christ. He's a saint for his father, Satan. But we have to keep in mind, this guy is actually literally a convicted uh, predator, basically a child predator. Uh, but we have, we have to put things, some things together because whenever this guy gets rebuked, he just cusses the person out. Now, this extreme kind of bitterness, in order to, to assault a child, you have to have all kinds of bitterness in you to go after a child like that. The bitterness he shows in his live streams is just evidence of that and how he doesn't show his face either. That's simple. L let me just show you another scripture on that because, you know, he's trying to hide things about, you know, trying to hide basically. Well, what is that in light of scripture? John chapter 18, verse... Uh, 20 John chapter 18 verse 20 Jesus answered him I speak openly to the world I ever I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple whether the Jews always resort and in secret have I said nothing um, if you're a Bible believing Christian you have nothing to hide if you're truly repentant you have nothing to hide hence why I show my face in all the videos I people say oh you shouldn't show your face you're saying a lot of controversial things I got nothing to hide in secret I've said nothing uh, you want to know what I believe I'll tell you what I believe that's simple Here's another good scripture that is relevant to this issue. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 19. I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. 
I said not unto the seed of Jacob, seek me, seek ye, seek ye me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. And then a relevant scripture, Isaiah chapter eight forty eight verse sixteen. Come ye near unto me, hear ye this, I have not spoken in secret from the beginning, from, from the time that is was, there I there am I, uh, and now the Lord God and his spirit hath sent me. Good verse on the Godhead, by the way, too, just a bit of off topic, good verse on the Godhead. Lord God and his spirit. See a distinction there with the in the Godhead, the Holy the God the Father and the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. But uh again, if you're a Christian you got nothing to hide. In secret I've done nothing. God never spoke anything in secret. And neither did Jesus Christ. But he's trying to hide his sin. But guess what? Numbers chapter uh, 32, verse 23. Be sure your sin will find you out. And his sin has found him out. And guess what? Now he's a registered offender and literally a convicted predator. That's smoky Satanist for you right there. There'll be more coming on this wicked Satanist in the future. Mark and avoid him. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.